Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Hamid Youssef. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at the Palace the President of Turkmenistan, Serdan Berdi Mohamedov, on the occasion of his official visit to Bahrain. Upon arrival, an official reception ceremony was held for the President, and the Turkmen and Bahraini anthems were played. الشرف سلام جمهورية تركمانستان وسلام مملكة البحرين سلام
Then the president greeted senior officials on the Bahraini side, and His Majesty the King greeted the delegation accompanying the president. Then the artillery fired 21 rounds welcoming the president. His Majesty the King held a meeting with the Turkmen president where they reviewed bilateral ties and aspects of cooperation in the economic, commercial, investment, cultural and tourism fields and the steps taken to develop them and achieve the two countries' aspirations and interests. They also exchanged points of view on a number of issues as well as regional and international developments of common interest. Then His Majesty the King and the president exchanged gifts on the occasion. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم فخامة الرئيس سردار بردي محمدوف رئيس جمهورية تركمستان الموقع السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته مرحبا وأهلا بكم في مملكة البحرين بمناسبة زيارتكم الأولى لها تلبية لدعوتنا النابعة من اهتمامنا الكبير بالعلاقات التاريخية القوية التي تجمعنا والممتدة منذ أكثر من ربع قرن إلى جانب حرصنا على متابعة نتائج زيارتنا لبلدكم الشقيق الذي أبهرنا تاريخه العريق وحاضره المشرق وحفاوة شعبه الصديق وشهدنا خلالها فصلا جديدا من فصول تعاوننا وتقاربنا ونتطلع معكم اليوم بالبناء على ما توافقنا عليه من خطط مشتركة تأخذ في الاعتبار كل ما يعزز وينمي مصالحنا الاستراتيجية وأنها لفرصة طيبة وقيم أن نلتقي بكم اليوم بمعية وفدكم الكريم من كبار المسؤولين للبدء في جولة متجددة من المباحثات لتنمية شراكتنا في شتى المجالات ذات موضع الاهتمام المشترك والتي تأخذ في الاعتبار الإمكانات المتوفرة في بلدينا وعلى وجه الخصوص في المجالات الاستثمارية والتجارية وفي قطاعات الطاقة والأمن القذائي والسياحة والتبادل الثقافي وبما سيسهم في رفع مستويات النمو الاقتصادي في البلدين ونشكر في هذا الصدد اللجنة المعنية بمتابعة تنفيذ اتفاقياتنا الثنائية والتي أمرنا بتشكيلها في مملكة البحرين لتعمل على تقديم كل ما يلزم لتطوير علاقاتنا الأخوية القائمة على الثقة والتفاهم والاحترام المتبادل فخامة الرئيس إن زيارتكم التاريخية لبلدنا لننظر إليها بكثير من الاهتمام 
والتطلع لتنمية شراكتنا ولتنسيق المواقف حول القضايا الإقليمية ولمعالجة التحديات العالمية الراهنة للمساهمة في حفظ الأمن والاستقرار العالمي وبالعمل معا على اقتراح الحلول السلمية لتقوية العلاقات الودية بين الأمم والشعوب ونستهدي في ذلك بحضارة الإسلام التي ينتمي إليها بلدينا والمرسخة لقيم التسامح والتعايش والاعتدال التي نقدرها حق قدرها ونمد اليد على الدوام من أجلها لخير البشرية وأمانها ويطيب لنا في هذه المناسبة الكريمة بأن نمنح فخامتكم وسام الشيخ عيسى بن سلمان آل خليفة أعلى وسام للإعراب عن تقديرنا الكبير لدوركم وإسهامات بلادكم المؤثرة في إرساء الأمن الدولي وحفظ الاستقرار الشامل في دول الجوار وختاما نرحب بكم مرة أخرى ضيوفا أعزاء على أرض البحرين التي يبادلكم أهلها عظيم التقدير والمحبة وتهديكم أخلص التمنيات بطيب الإقامة فيها والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Then His Majesty bestowed the order of Sheikh Isa bin Salman Al Khalifa first class on the Turkmen president in appreciation for his efforts in bolstering bilateral cooperation, and the president delivered a speech. <laughs> أبلغ تحيات صاحب الفخامة رئيس مجلس خلق مصلحتي زعيم زعيم قوم شعب التركمان قربا غلي برد محمدوف إليكم وأشكركم لجهودكم البناءة لتطوير العلاقات بين البلدين الشقيقين موضع إقامة العلاقات الدبلوماسية بين تركمانستان ومملكة البحرين عام 1995 قطعنا شوطا كبيرا في تشكيل نموذج فعال للتعاون يقوم على الصداقة والأخوة والمساواة والاحترام المتبادل وضعت أسس هذا الحوار المثمر في عام 2019 خلال زيارة جلالتكم الرسمية لتركمانستان حيث تم خلالها التوصل إلى اتفاقيات مهمة نلاحظ وجود تعاون مثمر في مختلف المحافل المتعددة الأطراف ولا سيما في منظمة الأمم المتحدة منظمة التعاون الإسلامي وعدد من المنظمات الدولية الأخرى نحن نعطي تقييما عاليا للموقف البناء التي اتخذتها البحرين فيما يتعلق بحيادة تركمانستان ومبادراتها الدولية حول القضايا الحيوية في العالم وتؤيد مملكة البحرين باستمرار مشاريع قرارات الجمعية العامة للأمم المتحدة بشأن قضايا الطاقة والنقل التي اقترحتها تركمانستان وبدورها تدعم تركمانستان دعما ثابتا للمقترحات البناء من جانب البحرين فيما يتعلق بالعلاقات التجارية والاقتصادية نريد أن نؤكد على وجود إمكانات واسعة لإنشاء مشاريع مشتركة بين البحرين في القطاعات الرائدة في اقتصاد تركمانستان مثل مجمع الوقود والطاقة وصناعة التكرير والبناء ونقل الشحن وانتاج, وانتاج, وانتاج المنسوجات وكخطوة أولى ندعو شركائنا البحرينيين إلى النظر في مقترح عقد منتديات ومعارض أعمال تجارية واستثمارية في العام المقبل نحن نرحب بتوسيع نطاق التعاون بين البلدين في المجال الإنساني وإقامة تعاون وثيق في مجال مثل العلوم والتعليم وإقامة أيام الثقافة على أساس منظم على أساس منتظم جلالة الملك إن تركمانستان تقدر وتعتز العلاقات الأخوية والمدية مع مملكة البحرين ونحن نؤمن بأن هذه الزيارة ستكون دافعا قويا لكشف مزيد من الإمكانات الهائلة للتعاون من أجل مصالح شعوبنا ودولنا ندعوكم مرة أخرى بأن تقوموا بزيارة رسمية إلى تركمانستان ونحن سنستقبلكم حق الاستقبال وإن شاء الله ستكون لنا ضيفا كريما لنا
صاحب الجلالة أود أن أعرب أيضا عن خالص امتناني لسموكم لمنحي وسام الشيخ عيسى بن سلمان آل خليفة خلال زيارتي الرسمية الأولى لمملكة البحرين الصديقة أقبل هذه الجائزة كعلامة واضحة على الاحترام لتركمانستان والشعب التركماني الملتزمين بالتنمية الشاملة للعلاقات الودية بين تركمانستان والبحرين أعبر مرة أخرى عن عميق امتناني لمنح الوسام الرفيع وأتمنى لكم موفور الصحة والازدهار والسلام والتطوع لشعب مملكة البحرين الشقيقة شكرا His Majesty the King and the President witnessed the signing of a number of memorandums of understanding between the two sides, agreements between the governments of Bahrain and Turkmenistan concerning air services to establish and operate air services between the two countries, to develop frameworks for cooperation in the field of air transport, signed by the Minister of Transportation and Telecommunications, Mohammed al kabi and the General Director of the Agency for Transport and Communications under the Cabinet of Ministers of Turkmenistan, Mamithan Takayev. MOU in the field of crafts and traditional industries related to heritage between the governments of Bahrain and Turkmenistan to promote and develop cooperation in the fields of crafts and traditional industries related to heritage, signed by the Minister of Information, Dr. Ramzan al naimi and the Turkmen Minister of Culture, Atagildi Samayardo. MOU between the Mohammed bin Mbarak Al Khalifa Academy for Diplomatic Studies and the Institute of International Relations of the Turkmen Ministry of Foreign Affairs to activate cooperation between the two countries in the field of diplomatic training, signed by the Under Secretary of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs for Political Affairs, Sheikh Dr. Abdullah bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, and the Turkmen Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Foreign Affairs, Rashid Muradov. MOU in the field of maritime transport between the governments of Bahrain and Turkmenistan to develop coordination between the two countries in the field of maritime navigation signed by the Minister of Transportation and Telecommunications and the head of the Turkmen, Dennis Derya Yolari, a agency of the Transport and Communications Agency of the Council of Ministers, Anadurdi Kosayev. MOU on cooperation in the field of railway transport between the governments of Bahrain and the Turkmenistan to strengthen cooperation and coordination mechanisms between the two countries in the field of railway transport, signed by the Minister of Transportation and Telecommunications and the head of the Agency of Transport and Communications under the Cabinet of Ministers, Azad Atamiradov. MOU on cooperation in the field of general, technical and higher education between the governments of Bahrain and Turkmenistan to enhance cooperation in the field of general, vocational and higher education between the two parties, signed by the Minister of Education, Dr. Mohammed bin Mbarak Juma, and the Turkmen Minister of Education, Atayeva Gurbangal. MOU cooperation in the fields of standardization, certification, accreditation and metrology between the governments of Bahrain and Turkmenistan to promote common interests in the fields of standardization, certification, accreditation and measurement on the basis of mutual benefits signed by the Minister of Industry and Commerce, Abdullah Fakhro, and the Turkmen Minister of Finance and Economy, Sardar Jureyev. Program on cooperation in the field of culture between the Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities and the Ministry of Culture of Turkmenistan for the years 2023-2027 to strengthen bilateral relations between the authorities and the two countries. Three of the two parties encourage cultural activities and hold various cultural events signed by the Minister of Information and the Turkmen Minister of Culture. In granting the government of Turkmenistan the status of an official partner for global logistics sea to air to develop economic and commerce relations signed by the Minister of Industry and Commerce and the General Director of the Agency for Transport and Communications under the Cabinet of Ministers of Turkmenistan. His Majesty the King and the Turkmen President hailed the signing of the agreements and MOUs which will bolster cooperation at various levels. At the conclusion of the talks, the two leaders reaffirmed their keenness to enhance the distinguished long-standing relations between the two countries, broaden the areas of cooperation, and take advantage of their expertise and investment opportunities to further strengthen bilateral ties. They also affirmed their support for all efforts aimed at consolidating regional and global stability, security and peace, as well as promoting the concepts of tolerance, dialogue and coexistence among various peoples.
His Majesty the King hosted a lunch banquet in honor of the Turkmen president and the accompanying delegation. The mission of honor was led by the Minister of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments, Nawaf al Maud. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Safiya Palace the President of Turkmenistan, Sardar Berdi Mohamedov. His Majesty exchanged cordial talks with the President on the strong historical relations between the two countries and the development and growth of bilateral cooperation in all fields for the benefit of the two friendly countries and people. The President hailed the development and progress of Bahrain in all fields. His Majesty the King and the President witnessed a show of purebred Arabian horses and a group of Turkmenistan and Andalusian horses.
a joint communique on the occasion of the president of Turkmenistan's visit to Bahrain was issued. Within the framework of the solid long-standing friendship between Bahrain and Turkmenistan, and a desire to strengthen and develop bilateral cooperation between the two friendly countries, an official session of talks was held between His Majesty the King and the President of Turkmenistan and Gdabiya Palace in the presence of delegations from the two countries. The two sides discussed the course of bilateral relations, the multifaceted areas of cooperation and the close contacts between the two people and ways to further develop them to serve mutual interests. The two sides reaffirmed the common desire to promote cooperation between the two countries in the economic, trade, investment and development fields and to support the role of the private sector in economic cooperation and to take advantage of the available economic and investment opportunities to develop joint cooperation. The talks covered opportunities to expand and deepen bilateral cooperation in the political and diplomatic fields and unifying stances towards current regional and international challenges and issues and further promoting coordination and cooperation and the exchange of support in regional and international forums which would serve their mutual interests. The two sides express appreciation for the agreements and MOUs signed between the two countries to promote bilateral cooperation in the fields of financial affairs, air services, crafts and traditional industries, maritime navigation, railways, general, technical and higher education, metrology, culture and diplomatic training, which would contribute to the development of bilateral relations to more comprehensive levels. Both sides welcomed the designation of Turkmenistan as a global sea to air logistics partner of Bahrain to facilitate logistics services and strengthen economic and trade relations between the two countries. They discussed regional and international developments of common interest and the challenges facing the countries of the Middle East and Central Asia and the countries of the world. They stressed the importance of continuing cooperation and joint coordination to support all efforts and endeavors aimed at reaching political solutions that consolidate peace and stability. They also reaffirmed their commitment to strengthen the values of peace, tolerance, peaceful coexistence, global dialogue, respect for religions and beliefs, and the principles of the UN Charter. The two sides reaffirmed the need to coordinate efforts within the framework of international and regional organizations of which Bahrain and Turkmenistan are members of, and the importance of enhancing the UN's role and its institutions in solving global issues, ensuring sustainable development, strengthening security and stability in the world, in addition to reiterating the importance of increasing the efforts of the international community against acts of aggression that pose a threat to the international peace. The two sides expressed the importance of resolving conflicts by peaceful means in accordance with the recognized principles and norms of international law on the basis of respect and taking into account the principles of sovereignty, territorial integrity and inviolability of internationally recognized borders of states. The two sides noted the importance of the policy of neutrality pursued by Turkmenistan and stressed the importance of the initiative of Turkmenistan that declared 2023 as the International Year of Dialogue as a guarantee of peace in accordance with the Resolution 7732 of the UN General Assembly of the 6th of December 2022 as part of the overall process of constructive and equal multilateral communication between states. The two sides expressed their condemnation of terrorism in all its forms and stressed the need to promote cooperation and joint coordination at the bilateral and multilateral levels in combating terrorism and its financing, combating transitional organized crime, and promoting cooperation in the field of cybersecurity in order to maintain international security and stability. The two sides expressed the sympathy and solidarity with Turkey and Syria as a result of the devastating earthquake and the victims, wounded and great destruction left behind, expressing condolences to the governments and people of the two countries and the families of the victims, calling on the international community to extend assistance to the two countries to overcome the consequences of this natural and humanitarian disaster. The President of Turkmenistan thanked His Majesty the King for the warm welcome and generous hospitality. He invited His Majesty the King to visit Turkmenistan as soon as possible, which was gladly accepted. An implementation of the directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to provide urgent relief aid to the victims of the earthquake that struck Syria and Turkey in light of the national campaign to support the victims. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, donated 100,000 Bahraini dinars, raising the total amount to 4 million US dollars. The Secretary General of the Royal Humanitarian Foundation and CEO of the National Committee to Support the Earthquake Victims in Syria and Turkey, Dr. Mustafa Sayyid, affirmed that the national campaign launched by his 
His Highness Sheikh Nasser and was organized in cooperation with Bahrain TV last Friday, achieved remarkable success with the participation of many economic and commerce institutions in Bahrain, as well as citizens and residents. He stated that he will depart tomorrow with a delegation from the National Committee to deliver the first relief shipment to Syria in cooperation with the Bahraini Red Crescent. The RHF signed with the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees and Cooperation Agreement to implement development projects under the kingdom's name in Syria and Turkey. His Majesty the King's Special Representative and Chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Isa Award for Service to Humanity, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa, hosted a dinner banquet at the National Theatre in honor of the Nepalese ophthalmologist Dr. Sandok Royt, winner of the Isa Award for Service to Humanity in its fifth edition, as well as journalists and reporters who covered the ceremony, during which His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa conferred the prize to the laureate. Ministers and members of the award, Board of Trustees, the jury, the Nepalese ambassador to Bahrain and invitees also attended. The President of Turkmenistan, Sardar Berdi Mohamedov, visited the headquarters of the Economic Development Board as part of the official visit to the Kingdom. Upon arrival, the President was received by Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah al-Khalifa and a number of ministers and officials. Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah welcomed the President and the accompanying delegation to the EDB, stressing the distinguished bilateral relations in various economic sectors and the importance of continuing their development in line with the goals of the comprehensive development process led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al-Khalifa and the follow-up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa. The Deputy Premier highlighted the steady development of bilateral relations that will bolster cooperation in various fields, especially commerce, economy and investment, and the further efforts this requires to maximize the benefits from the two countries' gains that enable business figures and private sector institutions to create new promising opportunities. He expressed aspirations to enhance the paths of cooperation and joint coordination between Bahrain and Turkmenistan, which will contribute to increasing the volume of trade exchange in accordance with common approaches. The President was briefed on the promising opportunities in Bahrain, the services provided by the EDB to investors, the Council's efforts to diversify the economic base and the means to enhance investment between Bahrain and global markets, which contributed to attracting direct investment to the country to creating more quality opportunities for citizens.
The President of Turkmenistan, Sardar Berdi Mohamedov, and his accompanying delegation arrived yesterday in the kingdom on an official visit in which he held talks with His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa on bilateral relations, long standing historic friendship, and the latest regional and international developments. Upon arrival, the President was received by Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, Minister of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments, and Head of Mission of Honor, Nawaf Al Mauda, Vice President of the Supreme Council for the Environment, Vice President of the Higher Authority for Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club. His Highness Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid Al Khalifa, the Governor of Muharraq, Ambassador of Bahrain to Turkmenistan, and an official delegation. The Kingdom of Saudi Arabia celebrates the anniversary of the founding of the first Saudi state by the founder Imam Muhammad bin Saud in 1727. The celebration of this national day comes in light of the royal order of the Saudi king to make the 22nd of February a national day to celebrate the anniversary of the founding. The kingdom celebrates this occasion in remembrance of the extension of the Saudi state that was founded three centuries ago with the aim of highlighting the historical and civilizational depth and celebrating the legacy of its diverse culture and in loyalty to those who contribute contributed to the service of the country from the Imams, the first kings and the Saudi people. The Speaker of the Council of Representatives, Ahmed Lim Salam, sent a cable of congratulations to Saudi Shura Council Speaker, Sheikh Dr. Abdullah bin Mohammed bin Ibrahim Al Sheikh, on the founding day of Saudi Arabia. The Speaker praised the strategic historical relations between the two countries and peoples, thanks to the support of His Majesty the King and the Saudi King. He also praised the growing bilateral cooperation and coordination led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister and His Royal Highness the Saudi Crown Prince and Prime Minister. The Speaker also sent a similar cable to Saudi Ambassador to the Kingdom of Bahrain, His Royal Highness Prince Sultan. Bin Ahmed bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud. The Chairman of the Shura Council, Ali Saleh, congratulated the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia on its founding day. He praised the strategic historical relations between the two countries and peoples, thanks to the support of His Majesty the King and the Saudi King. He also praised the growing bilateral cooperation and coordination led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, and His Royal Highness the Saudi Crown Prince and Prime Minister. Secretary General of the Isa Award for Service to Humanity, Ali Abdullah Khalifa, and the winner of the award, Dr. Sanduk Reut, held a press conference which was attended by local, regional, and international media representatives. The Secretary General of the award affirmed the kingdom's firm approach in enhancing the culture and values of giving. He noted that the award seeks through its objectives to support the present and future of nations for the benefit of all humanity, stressing that this award, which was established by His Majesty the King, comes in appreciation of the late Sheikh Isa bin Salman Al Khalifa for his noble achievements, great role, and sincere dedication to serving humanity. Dr. Sanduk Reut stressed that this award reflects the approach of His Majesty the King in adopting initiatives that root the values of goodness and giving in the whole world. The ISA Award for Service to Humanity is meant for those who sought to improve human conditions, provide innovative solutions to humanitarian and social issues, and extend a helping hand to the needy from different parts of the world. More in this report. The ISA Award for Service to Humanity stands to reflect the generous, caring, and selfless contributions of the late His Majesty Sheikh Isa bin Salman Al Khalifa to humanity. The award embodies a living memory of the late Amir and his noble legacy in serving humanity and showcases His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's commitment to further instilling humanitarian work and celebrating it across the globe. This award actually uh, represents the values that the Kingdom of Bahrain uh, emphasizes on, uh, particularly when it comes to humanitarian work. Uh, His Majesty the King is patronizing this award uh, on actually um, periodical basis um, that looks into different humanitarian practices across the globe. And today we have seen a very uh, manifest example uh, through the work of uh, Dr. Sanduk. Uh, who has contributed his life uh, to the help of a lot of millions and millions of needy people uh, in, in Nepal. 
and he did not spa uh, spare any effort to help these people in, in providing the necessary medical care they needed, particularly in that uh, uh, part of the world. So we would like to congratulate him and we feel very much proud as Kingdom of Bahrain to be um, hosting this important uh, um, uh, award uh, commemorating uh, the good and noble deeds of uh, the late uh, Sheikh Isa bin Salman Al Khalifa. The Nepalese ophthalmologist Dr. Sander Krovit was selected as the winner of the fifth edition of the Isa Award for Service to Humanity. He is a world famous for devising a new method for treating cataracts. He was also able to develop a new lens implanted inside the eyeball that could be produced at a much cheaper price than its counterparts. I think it's, uh, this award carries a great value uh, for our credibility in the future. And, uh, you know, uh, I'll be able to, uh, uh, with the award, uh, I'll be able to scale up my work uh, much more than before. And uh, also, mm, uh, I personally feel that the, this award is very unique. Like I told you on my speech, that it goes beyond the political, uh, financial, and uh, connectivities, and uh, extremely impartial. So there is more sense of satisfaction of getting it, and uh, named after a person who was engrossed in public welfare, liked by so many people. Uh, I think, uh, you know, uh, I, I really feel great. The Board of Trustees and Secretariat General of the award, alongside the judging panel consisting of world-renowned personalities representing the five continents, worked diligently to review and evaluate all applications in order to select the winner. It sets a certain example, we hope, for many people uh, in lots of ways. How do we make our lives meaningful? We, we do that by helping people. And when we see an example of somebody who's been able to reach out and in simple ways had such a huge effect doing what he knows how to do and transforming people's life. We know that he makes his life meaningful and what a wonderful example that is. 139 candidates from across the world had applied for the award and the kingdom is always keen on honoring and recognizing individuals and institutions that have spearheaded humanitarian work to serve humanity. The Isa Award for Service to Humanity showcases the humanitarian values of the Kingdom of Bahrain and affirms the high status of the Kingdom in the humanitarian field on the global level. Reporting for Bahrain International, I am Hamad Youssef.